Okay, folks, we're answering a question about a man that wanted to know how you catch two feet out of Brandon. I think that's the way he worded it. So, first thing you got to know is that there's different styles of ranch roping. The outfit I work for, they brand in the small corral and uh, they put the cattle and the, the cows in the big corral. And if you're lucky enough to go with somebody like Dave Weaver, you put all the cattle in the big corral and then rope the calves and drag them to the fire. So you got to know that different shots work in different places. I like the outfit I work for, so it's no big deal to me. But uh, just understand that all the shots we're putting on the videos, you got to know when and where to use them. So small pin, Brandon, First shot is a traditional heel trap. You split the loop, we've talked about that. That's two feet. Second one is the backhand. Now what makes you decide which one to use is which way the cattle are pointed. Backhand. Over the hip, two feet. One nobody ever thinks about, it's real high percentage. The sidearm. Throw it over the butt. Ride to the calf's head. It walks backwards, steps right in the loop, right under your rope, and head for the fire. Another one a lot of folks don't know about. Remember, everything's fair in the krill. If you're in a ranch, I forget what they call them now. Anyway, if you're at a competition, they probably won't let you do this. But in the in the real world, it's just fine. So you throw a trap, and you've only caught one leg. Raise your arm, and ride around the calf, and back it up with your arm in the air. And you, in fact, will catch two legs right under your arm, and head for the fire. Remember, the question was, how do you catch two feet? I'm showing you how you catch two feet. Now the last one, just to thrill the crowd, keep you from carrying the nut bucket. Choose for small dink calves on the fence. Split the loop. Del Viento. And let the calf walk through the loop. Big sloppy loop. So now the calf walks through it. You keep your arm up until it gets to the tail head. Then you go to the horn and go to the fire. So there you go. That answers that question. Now once again on ropes, this is a 5 16 nylon soft lay. That's what I buy. I've been out of the loop on the rope deal for years, so I don't know about all the leaded and the microns and nylons and dacron and whatever else there is. I don't know nothing about them. So you're going to have to sort that out yourself. If you're a beginner, I suggest you get one of these. Women, get a 40 footer because you don't have to hold so many coils and make your coils bigger it's very simple math now the biggest problem I see with people that are learning how to do this is they swing too much make yourself never swing more than three times and get rid of the rope then you'll be able to practice for a longer time the number one thing that happens to people learning to rope is their arm gets tired the mistake made is people throw that in there 
and they just pull their slack and go to the horn. But what they're doing is just letting the calf walk out of it. So you watch it. Now they're, this is either at one mile an hour or 30 miles an hour. You've got to know to be ready for speed in cattle. Sorry, they don't all stand still like this dummy. The trick is, is to watch your critter, keep your arm up. So now with your arm up, you can hold the trap. That's why you don't get a triple X soft. The critter goes in, your arm stays up, and you let the calf pull your hand as it's leaving, I'm walking backwards, but pretend the calf's leaving. You just slide the hand, your rope through your hand and go to the horn at the same time. Another mistake is people will catch, they move their left hand so they can find the horn, which incidentally is always going to be there. Now the horse learns to turn, it's called ducking out, taught by humans. And then they try to get to the horn here, and they start staring at the horn, and they'd have no idea what's going on in the end of that calf. So something to remember is that the people you're roping with, they're not looking at the calves, they're watching you. And if you're a dink, they're going to treat you like you have the plague. So have, it's like they say about horses, train them at home. In other words, get, get, get your skills down. It's blatantly obvious when you go in the corral whether you're green or not. Now guys that are good hands, they don't mind a green rider in there, but they won't want a stupid one either. So pay attention, use your head, and don't lose your brain. Okay, have fun. Thank you.